What? What's up my NSAPs? Welcome to my channel. So today is really special because today I am finally reacting to an episode that is long overdue and it is season one episode eight of Hell of a Boss. This episode is titled Queen Bee. So for those of you who obviously follow Hell of a Boss, uh, this episode was supposed to come right after the Aussies episode, but we never got it. Uh, apparently there were some copyright issues and other legal issues that just led to the episode never actually getting uploaded. And then they just went ahead and started uploading for season two. So with that being said, I am so excited to get into this. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you wanna see the full version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. And now without any further ado guys, Let's get into it. All right, this is interesting already because typically the Hell of a Boss episodes start with their little uh, disclaimer in the beginning about, hey, this is a, an adult show with graphics and stuff that is not meant for children. But this one just starts off right away with the episode. So I wonder if that's just because, you know, they finally were able to get it out. So it's just like here, here, there it is. <laughs> but anyway, I'm excited to get into it. Uh, so here we go. Oh, <laughs> the picture. I'm gonna drop you off here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I uh, haven't been here before. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hey, I'm her. Oh shit, here, sorry. Oh, text, yes. Okay, that's right. So the last episode, um, and the only reason why I even, frank, quite frankly, even know what just happened in the last episode, um, I rewatched the last three episodes with uh, We Last Reacts, Moscow. If you don't know who Moscow is, uh, she does reactions, and uh, her channel's called We Last Reacts. Uh, go check it out. And it was fun because we actually got to not only rewatch and remember the episodes that led up to this, but also we were able to break down Blitz's point of view when it comes to his relationship with Stolas, and that was really nice because because I'm starting to feel equally as bad for Blitz as I did for Stolas or do for Stolas. Like in the last current episode that we just saw, I was like so heartbroken for Stolas and I was giving Blitz all this shit. But after me and Moscow did this rewatch, we kind of discovered and realized a lot of shitty things that were actually happening and kind of feeling bad for Blitz as well and, and seeing what explains Blitz's behavior and distance and stuff like that. Um, so that being said, that's right, Blitz is left on the couch at the moment, I believe. If this takes place right after that, then we last saw Blitz looking at old photos or just his favorite photos. I, I thought they were his faves considering it was like things that we thought he really cares about. And the last one was a picture of him, his sister, and his mother, and he started crying. And Luna's door had a note about her going to a party, and that's right, this was the, the party that Tex had invited, invited her to, that big werewolf looking guy, or not werewolf, hellhound looking guy, he's <laughs> werewolf. Yeah, okay, so this is where we are. Sorry, I had to say that out loud to kind of put myself in that place. Anyway, here we go. Oh, oh shit, where the fuck is this? Can I go there? I wanna go there. <laughs> Anybody else? Thanks for inviting me. Oh, that's right, she likes him. Hey, right. But he has a girlfriend, that was the thing, right? She kind of got... Ow! Sorry, I had to. I like a fucking gata. I lost your thought. That's not... <laughs> can I just say? Can I just listen? Can I just say? I find that voice especially especially when the voice actor is purposely like exaggerating it even more. I find that shit so fucking funny. <laughs> Let me tell you something, living in California for as long as I did, there are and were some girls that spoke like this. Obviously not to this extent, but that way of speaking was a thing here and there. And I just love when they like poke fun at it and exaggerate it like this. And it's just like, oh my God, stop. Like it's ridiculous, but it's so fucking funny. Okay, does, does she really talk like this the whole time? I'm sold, I'm sold. I also love this dog's, uh, this hellhound's look. Super cute. I actually really like that design because it's like super adorable. It reminds me of, uh, oh, I don't know what they're called, but anywho, I like that they're all like these different breeds of dogs. I think that's cute. So, nah. Not fetch. <laughs> it's so not fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. All right, shout out to Mean Girls. <laughs> Which, another one of my all-time faves movies. It's one of the movies I probably quote in like my real life and day-to-day -day often, <laughs> especially with friends who know what Mean Girls is. OMG, Luna, lunatic Luna. Oh, listen, let's not, I like your voice because it's funny. Don't push it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop impersonating it. I'm sorry. That was your problem. This year, I... Where do you 
still have that. It brings me joy. Wow, okay, first of all, <laughs> listen, bitch. See, now I don't like you. You had me because you were funny. Now it's not funny anymore. I mean, it is still funny, but you're a bitch. So I don't like you. Why do you have that picture? What's the what's the lore here? What's the history? How do you know each other? You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Don't fucking say wow right at... No. <laughs> no. I don't want to be in any way similar to you. Bitch. Okay. Your aura is really aggressive right now. A bitch. Oh, yeah? I'll give you well, aggressive. Maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch. Uh, yes. My dog. What? Is that not enough? Come on, it's true. You can't say that. You can't, you can't say that. <laughs> Why not? She's being a massive bitch. She's bullying her. Fuck that. Y'all ready to party with the queen bee of blood to me. Oh. Come on. Queen bee of blood to me? And this bitch is about to Ooh. get fucking wild. Ooh, Let angel dust vibes. Die. Oh, I love the angel dust vibes. <gasps> Even like on the pole and shit. Like, <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait until Hasbin Hotel like gets released. I miss Hasbin so much. This, but it's just this design very much reminds me of uh, angel dust a bit. So j mostly just because of the four arms and then the two legs, and but also the swinging around the pole. Look at this. Oh god, I miss angel dust. Anyway, let's see who this is. You like some kind of bee? Now that I notice, like it's like a hive with all the honeycomb everywhere. Yeah, look, it's, okay, so, okay, this character just said that, oh, and the episode is also Queen Bee. So is this like a bee demon? Like the, I notice a lot of these demons and stuff are, are kind of like attached to animals and whatnot. So is this one like a bee? She's talking about honey. This is her hive, I'm assuming, her, which is her home. But she said the Queen Bee of Gluttony. So, well, Osmodius is the embodiment of lust, right? So is this character the embodiment of gluttony or gluttony the way she said it interesting oh we're getting a song we're getting a fucking song of all we're going back i couldn't even speak words hold on who the fuck are you i mean i know who you are you're the queen bee of gluttony you just said that and you're singing hold on we are fucking digesting this design also is there a reason that one is the only hexagon do you guys see this? I mean, Pentagon. Is that is there a reason that's the only Pentagon? Is it because like another hexagon wouldn't have fit there? Anyway, sorry, I'm being weird. Hold on. No, 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 no. We we're discussing this character. Um, I love you. <laughs> Listen, first I was stunned with Verasica. You take the cake. Um, you. I'm what you need. I'm uh-huh, you are. I love this character design. Anybody else? Anybody else completely enamored with this character right now? Or is this just me? This can't be just me. Anyone? What do you think? Right. I love the color palette too. Can we talk, can we discuss the color palette? Look at this. Even the background is very much this character's color palette. The pink, the yellow, the blue, the, the touch of purple, the gold, the orange. I love this. I love everything about this. Who designed this character? I wanna know. And you sing, and you sound great. Look at you. You're not at all what I was expecting. I was literally picturing a bee, although you do have wings, but you look like a dog, like a hellhound, but like bee-ish? Are you the queen bee of hellhounds? Are you like a bee and a hellhound mix? A bee hound? Interesting. Oh, look at you. You just, you flow. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm pausing so much. I don't care. We're breaking this down. I'm sticky sweet, stuck in your teeth. Uh-huh. 
Oh God, hold on, there's just one more thing. Listen, I just, just one more, just one more breakdown. Just give me a minute to process this, okay? I'm sorry, this. Okay, we got to see, is her stomach a lava lamp? Like, and, and this, this going on here, this flowy, glowy, flowy, glowy, awesomeness like is that her essence her fur because it looks like it's her tail but it's not fur or hair like this like this toughy part in the front or like her chest or anything like that so it's like it's like energy that just comes off of her I love this design I love you Verasica move the fuck over bitch <laughs> Queen Bee is here oh, and I love you I'm gonna shut up hey look look it's me Look! It's... <laughs> Hold on, context. If you follow my other reactions, this, that's me, right? That's the same fucking one. I would recognize her anywhere. This character, this little imp right here, appeared, oh, which episode was it? It was the, the Western one that we got introduced to Stryker for the first time. I forget what it's called, but I just recently saw it. And there was a girl, an imp girl in the crowd that I was like, in my reaction, I even pointed out, I was like, wow, she reminds me of me. She looks like me as a little imp in this show. And she got hurt, which explains the fucking arm wrap right now that she has in the sling. But also, can we just talk about the accuracy note? Not only is she fucking there, which is cute and coincidental, but the way she's just staring at this character in awe. Look at her. She's literally me. That is literally me in the show, guys. And that's exactly how I feel. I feel you. I am you. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I've just spent like 10 minutes just on this. I'm so sorry. Let's get on with the reaction. Please forgive me. Oh. Oh, I'm so downloading this song. Uh-huh. That was, that was a freeze frame moment. I, guys, please forgive me. This is just gonna be a bunch of gay panic now. <laughs> Is this my favorite character from now? Is this is this my favorite character? I think it is. At least it's, at least design wise. I know nothing about her as a character personally. Design wise, this is my favorite design. Oh. Oh, that's that's thumbnail. That's fucking thumbnail. Holy shit, that's thumbnail. I will grab that later for my thumbnail, but um Am I gonna make that with my wallpaper? Just like everything about it, the design and the color palette, especially the color palette. I'm fucking with this color palette. I'm gonna shut up and just watch it. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, and you keep changing colors. I love it. I get it though. If you're listening to the lyrics, she's talking about giving them cake and pie, and, she, and then the lyrics are saying, I'm what you want, not what you need. She is the embodiment of gluttony. So this is another one of the like deadly sins or whatever. So we've seen lust, which is Osmodeus. And so she is gluttony. Interesting, like her song is literally about that. Interesting, I like that. Oh, I love you. Oh my, anybody else just enamored? Or is it just me? This cannot just be me. Uh-huh. I'm him. I'm him right now. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, she is gluttony. She makes it bigger and more. Yeah. See, so she gives into like your desires and, and of indulgence and stuff like that. Interesting. So she, so is she gonna be a cool character, a shitty character? I mean, so far she is very talented and beautiful and amazing, but personality wise, that's what's gonna matter. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Luna. <laughs> Just, what the fuck? <laughs> You're so uncomfortable, I feel bad. Oh, I love this song, I'm gonna download it. It's very feel good. I like feel good music. know you but I love you right poor Luna I'm so sorry party is pleasant now but I feel like but. I'm a little bit too hard with the confetti this time though I have like a rainbow in my vagina right now <laughs> I was gonna pause and comment just on the rainbow itself but the comment got better I have a rainbow in like my vagina <laughs> bitch I feel you right
Is it fun? I'm gonna shut up. She's a fucking cutie. Oh. You've been hiding, girl. Is there something funny? <laughs> nah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. All right. She says you don't get invited out much. Who, whose voice is that? I like it. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. This is an itty bitty fucking, what? A girl. I wanna know what the hell a party's like. That's not itty bitty to you. Holy crap. She says, I'm a total jackass for trying, but uh -huh. hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. Okay. I can't, I still can't tell you. I don't know if you're like fully like annoying bitch or if, or if you're actually cool and you're just like kind of like carefree and stuff. I don't know how to feel just yet. I still love you though. This is my girlfriend, B. <laughs> I will spit out my water. That's your girlfriend? <sighs> oh, shit. You landed that? My man. Listen, Luna, I'll make a deal with you. You take Tex. You're uh, a, uh, an animated character. You don't exist, so. Never mind, but. You know what I wanted to say? <laughs> this is like mail all over again. <laughs> Right? Right. Anyway. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. That... I feel like you you endearingly meant that, or like you genuinely meant that as a compliment. However, it was still kind of an insult. Okay. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. Oh. I was like... Oop. Charlie's dad? As in the one and only... Oh shit, did we get a flashback of that at some point? Thank you for coming. Do you need anything? I, 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 fun. I still can't tell if it's authentic or if- Oh my god, is that fucking dog's- His entire coat is just covered! It's just filled with the freaking alcohol shit that they're probably drinking. What is that? Or is that honey? Is that the honey shit that she was swimming in? Oh, <laughs> oh she's not feeling it. Right? No, nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. Oh. Oh, she's not feeling. Oh, she's crying. Oh, Blitz. Wait, Blitz is going through it right now, though. Oh, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? But Luna needs him. You know what? That's one thing Blitz is, is he tries his absolute hardest to be a good dad. And you know what? I, I figured it's like the second he saw it was going to be from Luna, he's going to be like, I got you, baby. I'm coming. He's got you. Don't worry. He's gonna show up in like five seconds. It's really, yeah. There he is. Hey, Looney. How you doing? You all right? Oh, he cares about yeah, her so funny. much. He really does. Fuck, man. Where you been? You you're here for the party? That, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. Oh shit! You have a daughter now? Adopted. Oh. Howdy, next to you wants to leave? Watch it. I mean. Listen, listen, that is so me. <laughs> I've actually shared this with someone recently that I always said that uh, when it comes to like in my protective mode and shit, that if anybody I care about is like insulted or bullied or something, I would break out in a freaking what I call Latina growl. So like Blitz here is literally fucking me, but like if somebody I care about is being bullied or harassed or just anything like that, this, this is me, right? Watch, one more time. That right there. <laughs> it would be more intimidating than that in the moment, but just say, I feel you, Blitz. I, mean, I think we need to go. And yeah. It's been a long night. Listen, you don't understand the night that he's had. Like, now you want to go in because there's a new, like, big hulking freaking hellhound checking you out, but oh, Blitz is in a very vulnerable place. Okay, fine. Maybe one drink. Oh, shit. Blitz, Blitz, Blitz. Poor Blitz. You're gonna get drunk off your ass. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. Oh, fuck. Oh, born ready. Oh, no, Blitz. Well, you have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> yeah, listen, baby, I know. You, you've had a, the shittiest fucking night. Please don't do this. This is not gonna end well. I'm scared for you and Luna, quite frankly. That just goes to show how much I've just been talking about Queen Bee over here. I'm so sorry. Okay. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, 
Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna pause this here to discuss something because this is something that Moscow and I were actually talking about when we did our rewatch. So we've noticed <clears throat> and we caught on to this thing that Blitz doesn't love himself. He really, really doesn't and really believes in the insult of being just a little imp. We went like we dove really deep into the whole Blitz and Stolas dynamic and shit. So there's a lot to it. Um, I won't dive into all of it in this video because it was because it would be a whole another video in itself to be honest. But that right there, this line where he says, "You know, you're scared to lose to a little imp like me or whatever," he just said that just triggered the discussion we had. And it's like I feel so bad for Blitz because it's like he's been insulted with that his entire life. And it, I think it's gotten to the point where he genuinely believes that to his core, to the point where he says it about himself, like if it's an insult, like if he's nothing for being this little imp. That hurts! I feel, uh, I feel like if we hadn't had had that rewatch, I actually wouldn't be as impacted by this line as I am right now. But because of the rewatch we had and the discussions we had about it, this actually hits and hurts to hear him say that. Interesting. I'm gonna just like jot that down. That actually hurt and I wanted to just explain why. Okay, sorry. Oh fuck. Oh, you look concerned. Who's the queen now? Who's the queen? Well fuck me. Oh, she said that's my dad! Oh stop! Look at how happy he was! Oh, you deserve that blitz! You deserve that woman love you so happy! Just because she said she called him dad. That was magical. Seriously, impressive. I tip my crown to you, imp boy. Respect. Respect. Oh, okay. Well, at least she was cool with it. She's not a bitch about it. That's that's nice. She gives him the props. Okay. Very interesting. I thought she would like. Oh, she's concerned. Why? Is there a good reason behind that or a bad one? He's seeming a bit out of control, like a mess. Yeah, oh. it's You wanna maybe check on him or something? Oh, what? shit. I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time. Uh -huh. But he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. So oh. Like, oh. Don't act like you know him like I do. Oh. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. Oh. Oh, that's a an achievement? Question mark? Anyway, I appreciate that she's actually genuinely concerned. It's like she's the the embodiment of gluttony, but she recognizes that there's like this unhealthy aspect to what why he's indulging in this right now, and she's actually concerned. That's actually really nice. I like that about her character. If that's gen if it's genuine, that's really nice, and I like that. And it's I think it's cool that she identifies that there's something more going on. She's like, you know, this is an unhealthy r reason to want to get fucked up and stuff. I can taste the flavor of people at my. Hey, it's me! It's me! Look, see, there I am! I don't know why, I just like feel like, especially in the last episode where she first showed up, that she looks a lot like me, and look, she's chatting up another... <clears throat> another female imp. <sighs> yep. Accurate. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> I mean, everyone likes you so much. Why are you... What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, you... Problem. Ooh, you didn't say anything. Text. Um, also, what the fuck? You can get gigantic? That's scary. Okay. I'm terrified. She was so sweet a second ago. She's like, don't fuck with me. <laughs> okay, bitch. Interesting. Oh, oh! What the fuck are you doing, Blake? <laughs> the way they animate the tongues. I fucking can't with this show. It's so... It's so specific. I expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. Uh, I'm just having fuck is your name again. Dennis. Price on a stick, you would be a Dennis. Get the fuck away from me. I'm fucking a Dennis tonight. I need a Monica or Alejandro in house. I need a Monica or an Alejandro. Can we just talk about how sad this actually is, though? Like, again, this actually really fucking hurts. I feel so bad for Blitz. He is in a very, very low point, at least at this point. I mean, we're already in season two now, so we're kind of seeing, like, the aftermath after this. But to know that this is how low he got, wow. That's actually really sad. Oh. I need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Yeah, water. Uh, no. Oh, take him home, yeah. Tuck him in the sleepies. Take care of your dad. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> the little... 
no, <laughs> no. That was so cute. Okay, wait, I gotta hear that again. I'm sorry, that was too cute to not play again. I'm sorry. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> no. I bet you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Right? Oh, this was another thing we talked about. Okay, when we watched the, the Aussies episode, uh, I pointed out how Blitz has his face scratched out out of all, or not scratched out, but like markered out of all these pictures. Like he hates himself that much. He can't even see himself. And he just keeps the people he cares about the most. Luna, Moxie, Millie. But look, he... He races his face out of it. How fucking sad is that? Every picture, look, every picture with his sister, another one with Moxie Millie, look, even in this one, he erases his face out of it. It's so sad. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah? I know. Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Because it's gonna make me cry. Fuck. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Oh my God. Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Don't do this to me, man. Oh, it's gonna make me cry. Um, dude, okay. I felt and understood Stolas in the last one that we currently watched in season two. <sighs> but now hearing this from Blitz, I'm holding him back. Um, I felt that one of my biggest fears for the longest time personally was dying alone. And that fucking hurt to hear him say that. Not only did that just confirm everything Moscow and I were talking about, but also personally i know that feeling and it hurts he's taking he's obviously embodying it i think in a, in a more dramatic way for the show but it's like in a deeper way but people go through this people feel this and that's so sad to me that is so sad i'm so sorry and it's like it makes you understand blitz so much more now oh moscow if you're watching this we were right He's so afraid of dying alone. We were right. He just wants to be loved. Anyway. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. I don't know. It's lonely. Die alone. No, you're not. I'll be there, Dad. Yeah. Oh, God, she said it again. Moxie and Stolas. Moxie and Stolas. What? Melly, Moxie and Stolas. <laughs> oh! Ew. Fuck. Yeah, I did need to throw up. Yeah, you did. Hang on, he said their names. He said Millie, Moxie, and Stolas. Is that, are you like listing all the people you genuinely care about? And, oh, the vomit. Hold on, I just want to hear that again. Millie, Moxie, Stolas. Yeah, he's saying all their names. Oh, sweetie. Oh, that was so freaking, that was so tragic. I just want to look real quick to see the, the credits. I want to see who did Queen Bee's voice. Cause it's like, I feel like I recognize it, but not specifically. Ooh, there's more music. Oh, Brandon Rogers actually wrote that one with Vivian. Ooh, more songs to freaking download. Oh, what? That was fucking Kesha? Kesha, the Kesha. That explains the singing and why they probably had copyright issues. <gasps> That makes sense. That makes sense now. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? That was Kesha. Well, I really liked her voice. I'm gonna have to like... Oh wait, so that's the full character's name. Queen Beelzebub. Ah, the embodiment of gluttony. Nice! Okay, cool! Sick ass character. I really fucking hope we get to see her again. I'm downloading those songs if they're even freaking available. Are they available? I want them. Anywho, um... Wow, what a freaking episode though. Um, oh, uh, yeah, that hurt. And that explains so much and it solidified a lot of what we were discussing um, and a lot of what I was feeling and stuff about Blitz personally. Um, and I like it because it gives the point of view of Blitz and I feel like before I broke down the whole Blitz thing, I was so Team Stolas. Now I recognize that both of them have really serious faults and both really need to work and change at certain things to make their relationship work if they're going to pursue a healthy, positive relationship in the show with them to involved in it. Wow, that was actually really fucking heartbreaking. Uh, we're blitz. But wow, I'm really glad we got this episode released, not only because of the fantastic character that we got that was Queen Bee, but also because of the whole blitz thing. So. 
Wow, I really enjoyed that episode for so many reasons. I really enjoyed that. That was great. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, you can click that Patreon link down below. I thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye!